there is a big problem in Myanmar. And no, I'm not going to be talking about what you think I'm going to be talking. Sorry, I'm not going to talk about it. Maybe I just think that this is a big problem because I am a foreigner and I don't know the local language. And for that reason, I cannot have a conversation with many locals. I know also that there is many locals that can speak English very clear. It just happens that I haven't crossed paths with many so far. And basically the idea behind this video came after I've seen this man studying English pretty much every day. No, 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 I study myself. And I know that he is trying hard. I mean, it's not easy to sit down every day to study English just by yourself. He has been self-teaching for a long time. I understand that he went to school for nine years and had English lessons for those nine years. And basically left the school knowing nothing. I will let Bruce explain it. Here in Yama as well, we learn English from KG, to be honest. Yeah. So English is one of the subjects. It's always one of the subjects from KG all the way to uh, grade 10. Now grade 12. Yeah. So it's a subject. So we learn it as a subject here in Yama generally. I think we learn, we get to learn English as a language. Let's say after school, after, after high school. school. Yeah, that's that's when you realize that the way you were taught English in school is not really working. It's not really the way. Yeah, so I heard that did, already. Yeah, they teach you basically grammar after grammar, and you don't get to speak. Even the teachers, they don't speak English, so. <laughs> so you don't get to make any sentence. Oh no, just, no may maybe maybe you can form. You are you are asked to form a sentence based on. Formula, yeah. a constructed formula. So it's something that you can do easily, right? But you don't know what's going on here. You don't know why this goes here. So basically, it's a dead way of learning, I would say. Yeah, and then you, uh -huh. you cannot apply it anywhere else. Oh, no, no. In real life, it doesn't work. If you are lucky, you might learn English like that. If you're not, you'll have to work hard, like Muta. I have been studying for three years. Yes. I was serious when I said that he has been teaching himself for a long time, but he was only learning writing. Uh, only writing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> only writing. Yes, I know what video. <laughs> you are really good at writing, right? Yes. Really good writing, but of course I had to add another ways to study. I study uh, writing, listening, uh, sometimes speaking. Uh, I listen to mobile phone, chef. I study short videos. We all have a dream, something that keeps us moving forward. And he has one too. Why do you want to learn English? I want to be English, yes. so I study English. Yes. What can I do to help him? At the moment, I'm spending some time with him so he can practice speaking as well. But I don't want to just help him. I want to help as many people as I can because I believe there is many that want to learn English as well. And for that, I would record some video lessons with some good lessons. I would also need a Burmese speaker that can teach English. So if you can do that, let me know. Step by step, you can change the world. Don't go before, leave a like on this video and see you on the next one.